just knowing that she's cured and I'm here, it's, it's surreal. It's the most beautiful blessing. Baby Ella was born on October 28th at the Tucson Medical Center. And in her short time on earth, she's already had a lot to deal with. One of the nurses noticed that she was jittery and you know, like I had a really long day that day with her. Like she wouldn't eat, she wanted to eat, but she would get so frustrated. Just two weeks after birth, baby Ella was diagnosed with hyperinsulinism, a rare condition that can lead to seizures, developmental delay, and permanent brain damage. You see, newborns are supposed to have sugar levels over 50. Baby Ella was at just 19. Doctors at TMC told Ella's parents the best option for them was a children's hospital in Texas. So it wasn't a matter of, oh, you should, you guys should take her to Texas. It was like, we're going to fly her to Texas. But with the holidays just around the corner and the news that baby Ella and mom would spend six weeks in Texas, the spirit of Christmas was slowly fading away. I thought I was going to be there forever. So I told my son, you know, mommy might not be here for Christmas and you might have to fly over here, you know. And he was like, I don't want to because then Santa's not going to know where to take my presents. But it was the doctors at Cook Children's Hospital in Fort Worth that gave the Valakau family the best gift of all. Doctors pinpointed where in the pancreas the issue was. Fairly quickly they said, you know, good news. It's a focal disease. We can go in, we can remove that, and um, then we can just wait for recovery. And baby Ella recovered. Mom reports that baby Ella was up the same day eating, using the bathroom, and it's all thanks to those with the white coats. They had promised, we're going to do whatever we can to help you go back home for Christmas. And when they said, yeah, she's ready for discharge, it was, it was amazing. And I could come home to my other baby and to my husband.